Chapter Three. Z transform. Z transform play the same role as Laplace transform in continuous time. First of all, it's、uh, easier for studying properties of an LTI system through poles and zeros. For example, stability of the system. Sometimes it's also more convenient for studying input. And output relationship, and also for discussing implementation, we will talk about these in chapter five and chapter six. The Z transform of a sequence x n is defined by x z is equal to. The summation n from minus infinity to infinity x n z minus n, when ever it converges, and the variable z is complex number z belongs to c, complex number. We collect all the z for which. Z transform converges into one set. Is the collection of all Z for which the summation converges. The summation converges. We collect all such Z together in one set, and we call it region of convergence. We may notice that when we replace Z with e j omega, then this becomes x n. E minus j omega n, and what is this? This becomes the Fourier transform. And x z can be viewed as an extension of a Fourier transform to the complex z point. So on the complex z plan, this is the z plan. Its complex number. So we have the real part of z and the imaginary part of z, and if we look at、um, only the part of the z equal to e j omega, z equal to e j omega is a a circle. It's a circle with unitary radius. This is one. If we only look upon this circle, x e j omega, z equal to x e j omega. So this is omega. Then z is equal to e j omega. If we look at pan only this circle, the value of z transform on this circle, then this is the Fourier transform. For example, x n is the rectangular window, four point rectangular window. It has coefficient equal to one, a quarter. For n equal to zero, one, two, three, then x z by definition will be one z inverse z minus third. That will be z transform. For example, z equal to three x three will be quarter one one third square one third raised to power three. Then, what will be the region of convergence in this case? The region of convergence in this case is for what z z transform converges. When does x z converges? If we want to find out what r o z is, we are asking the question of when does the z transform expression converges? When does the expression converges? It converges for all z, doesn't it? Except at one point. What is that point? R o z is equal to all z, the collection of all z, except one point. Z not equal to zero. So it's the whole z plant except at z equal to zero. If we want to plot. R O C and the Z plan, the Z plan, then except this point at the origin, all the shaded area is the regional convergence.
is the whole Z plan except for the origin. Another example, xn is the one-sided exponential sequence. The n equal to zero, it's equal to one, and n equal to one, it's half, and it's continuing like this. n equal to two, it's a quarter, continuing like this, and this is xn. Now let's find out what xc is. By definition, xc will be z minus n, and here we need to put xn. And the sequence will be half n. And for what ranges? Because it, xn is now zero, only starting from n equal to zero. So when we sum up the terms, we only need to sum from n equal to zero to infinity. Looking at this summation, we see that it's actually a geometrical series. Geometric series. And the common ratio is half the inverse. So this is equal to 1, 1 minus half the inverse. But it's equal to this expression with any condition. What is the condition? xc is equal to this expression only when the series converges. And when does the series converges? The series converges if the common ratio is less than 1, right? If half z inverse is smaller than 1. Equivalently, this means z is greater than half. So now we have the region of convergence. The region of convergence is a collection of all z such that z is greater than half. We can indicate the region of convergence on the z plan. This is the real part of z. This is the imaginary part of z. Then what is the region of convergence? It's the collection of all z with absolute value greater than half. So let's say this is the circle with the radius half. Then the regional convergence will be outside the circle. All the z that is outside this circle. Let's look at another example. Xn is again an exponential sequence. 2 to the n u minus n. So if we plot xn, it will be non-zero. It's equal to 1 when n is equal to 0. And it's equal to half when n is equal to 1. And a quarter when n is equal to minus 2. And continue on the side. And for all n that's greater than 0, xn is equal to 0. Now let's find xz. xz, here we need to throw in xn xn is 2n, and uh, the index will go, now that x is, now the value of x, x is now 0, from n, that is from minus infinity to 0, so we only need to sum up these terms. And when we look at it, it looks again like a geometrical series, but it's not in the usual form that we would have with the summation. So let's rewrite it to a form that we are more familiar with. Let's make a change of variable. k equal to minus n. Then we have 2 to the minus k. And z, k. And k will go from 0 to infinity. And now we see a geometrical series. This is a geometric series. And what's the common ratio in this case? The common ratio is a half and a z. So now we have xc equal to 1 minus half z. And there's a condition for this expression to hold, right? It holds only when the common ratio 
is less than one, which means z is less than two. So the region of convergence now will be the collection of all z such that z is less than two. If we want to indicate region of convergence on the z plant, we would then have a circle. And then by the circle of two. And the regional convergence, the collection of all z inside the circle. Another example, suppose xn is the sum of the two sequences in the previous two examples. It's um, half n u n plus two n u minus n. So since it's the sum, let's sum the two sequences. Because it's the sum, so let's sum up the two sequences we have from the previous two examples. n equal to 0, 1, 2, minus 1, minus 2. And um, both of them are one-sided. At n equal to 1, if we have and a quarter and continue on. And n equal to minus 1, if we have and then a quarter, and then continues on. At n equal to zero, both sequences contribute, so we would have a two. And this is half, a quarter, half, and a quarter. Okay, so this is the sequence xn. And uh, when we try to find xz in this case, we would have the sum of the xz from the previous two examples as well. This is from the second example. z e minus n. So we have 1 minus half z minus 1 plus 1 minus half z. And when does these two xz converge to this expression? If both this series converge, and both of these two series is converges. And this happen if z is between half and uh, two. So the regional convergence is the collection of z that's between half and two. It turns out that the previous three examples fall into the category of a right-sided left-sided and two-sided sequence. First definition, what is a right-sided sequence? A sequence is called right-sided if xn is equal to zero for all n less than n zero for some n zero. For example, this one-sided exponential sequence that we talked about earlier is non-zero only starting from this point, from n equal to 0, you continue on, but for the other side, it's all 0. Then it's a right-sided sequence. Very similarly, a sequence is called left-sided if it's only on the left-hand side, and all the samples on the right side are equal to 0. A sequence is called two-sided if it's neither left-sided nor right-sided. An example of a two-sided sequence is this one that we have talked about earlier. It's neither left-sided nor right-sided. For right-sided sequence, we give it the abbreviation of RS. And it turns out that the region of a convergence of an RS sequence is always of the form of the form the collection of z such that z is larger than r. This means in particular the region of convergence always outside a circle. The region of convergence is always of the form. And for a left-sided sequence, the region of a left-sided sequence, left-sided sequences of the form z smaller than r, 
So it's always inside a circle with the radius r. For some r, the region of convergence for a two-sided sequence is always of the form z is between some r1 and r2. So if we indicate the region of convergence on the z plane, it will then always be the area between two circles, one with the radius 1, r1, and the other one with the radius r2. One in very important class of sequences is the type of sequences whose z transform are the so-called rational function. xz is a rational function of z if it is a ratio of polynomials in z. For example, that is, xz is of the form p of z and q of z and both p and q are polynomial in z. The roots of pz are called zeros of xz and the roots of qz are called poles of xz. For example, the one-sided exponential sequence that we have seen earlier and uh, this is the z transform, then we can rewrite it as a polynomial in z. We can make it a polynomial in z for the numerator and denominator. What can we do? We can multiply z to the numerator and the denominator. Then we get z minus half at the bottom. Now we have found our pz and qz. pz will be simply the numerator z and qz will be the denominator z minus a half. So both of them are polynomial in z. And pz has only one zero. It has only one root, which is the z equal to zero. So the zero of xz is z equal to zero. And the pole of xz will be the root of x of qz, which will be z equal to half. And we can plot the zero and the pole on the z plane. One is at zero. The zero is at the origin. And uh, the pole is at half. And such a plot is called pole zero diagram. Right? This is called pole zero diagram.